Good afternoon, North Platte and surrounding areas. This is Tammy Lashley with Lashley Land, and welcome to 701 Union Avenue. You're ready to see a four bedroom, three full bath home that is incredible. It's, it's had an addition to it back in the 80s, um, originally built in the 60s, but it is a beautiful home, immaculate, oversized, rooms, bedrooms, living room, uh, newer remodeled kitchen in 18, updated bathrooms as well. Um, but you have to come see this well-appointed, beautiful home on 701 Union Avenue. Come on in. First room off to your left as you walk in the door is the dining room. This has, as you can see, a table for six. This could easily house a larger table. I would say up to anywhere from 10 to 12. Um, and there's plenty of room for your china, um, your credenzas, different things like that. She has some beautiful uh, china hutches here. Um, but just a wonderful size room for a grow growing family. And then right off the dining room is an open eat-in kitchen. Nice little appointed place. Now this was remodeled by uh, Mike Fitzgerald and his crew over at Creative Interiors. You can tell with the granite countertops, the nicely appointed cabinetry. Um, this, this house just has it all. All KitchenAid appliances, folks, and those do stay with the home. Um, and then right off of the kitchen, if you come right down this way, we have the laundry room. And I'll let my videographer, AKA Shay, head on down to one of the full baths with a shower. Um, that was updated with the doors, all new tile. Um, there's a new spray head uh, shower um, and new faucets and a new mirror, I believe. And then as we go this way, you're gonna find that this has a real open feel, folks. You can see from the kitchen all the way in, across into the, the family room. It has a beautiful stone fireplace. Um, currently it has gas in it, but you could switch it to uh, wood burning if you choose, uh, but that is an option. I mean, they have a baby grand piano that sits well appointed in this oversized family room. And then there are two wings to this house. So you've got the wing that goes to the south, and then you have this one that kind of branches on the north side of the home down towards this end is the master. So three bedrooms off and a full bath, and then the master suite down here. This also, this house was all re-vented, and um, it has a new air conditioner that's been all reworked. Um, they redid all the venting so that everything stays temperate, um, stays warm in the winter and cool in the summer. We have a nice walk-in closet here. And then again, this is a Creative Interiors bathroom. And um, let me step off here to the side. And Sorry guys, getting a little choppy there. <laughs> and these are all onyx surfaces. I'd like you to see the inside of the shower. Sorry, Shay. You can see it has that rain handheld and then the onyx surfaces and bench. Really nice colors too. I don't think anything's too dark or too loud. Um, in this master bedroom, you could put a king size bed easily. They have two recliners over there, just because they spend a lot of time at night watching TV. But you could easily fit a king size, no problem at all. Now we're gonna go take a look at the guest room. Notice all your storage closets as we go down. Um, all of them are neat as a pin. I mean, this house is immaculate, folks. Uh, <clears throat> but we're gonna to go to the guest wing. Another thing that I'd like to point out as well as the new air conditioning and heating and reventing, um, and the bathrooms all being updated. Um, 
This has an office in it. This is one of the bedrooms, one of the three on this side. So you have four total. They said that this office desk can come out. But boy, I'll tell you, with times changing with COVID and everybody working from home, folks, this would be a great situation or setup for not even just one, but two. So if you and your spouse are working from home, I think you could easily share it. So then you have your guest bath that's across the way. It was also updated, I believe in 2012. So eight years ago, very tastefully done. And it has a jetted tub, beautiful, neutral tile. Um, I like the wallpaper. I know the wallpaper's coming back. Um, but if you did not like wallpaper, it wouldn't be that hard to remove. So, but very well, very tasteful. Again, folks, storage. There's also some storage behind and in front. So, um, this is the second of the three guest rooms. And this would kind of be on the south wing. This house kind of sets um, almost like an L. And that was the addition that they added eventually. So um, it's a great house, guys. This is a lot of square footage. This is the third of the guest bedrooms. These closets are also nice. And I forgot to show you the one over there. Same thing, it's got this step up here for either shoes or sweater storage during the winter, but they're big. They got a lot of room. All right, and you could fit a nice queen size in here. I wouldn't probably put a king, but you could do a queen, I would definitely say. Now we're gonna take a quick tour outside. We're gonna to go to the backyard that is just amazing. This does have underground sprinkling um, that I believe was installed newer. This has an attached two car garage and a detached two car garage over off the alley. So you've got four cars. So anybody that has toys, i.e. jet skis, maybe another car, Jeep, whatever. But this is beautiful. Um, so here we go. This is a great patio here, folks. Um, wonderful for just hanging out on, uh, on evenings in the summertime. And if you could get a nice umbrella off here, you would really have it made. But this is a great house here. And the sprinkler systems also, folks, are on a well. So you do not have to pay the extra city water bill to water your lawn to keep it green. Okay, so Shay's gonna pan the backyard here real quick, guys. I mean, this is incredible. And this used to have a tree in it. This is some kind of a lilac tree, linden. But you could almost turn that, where she's got those beautiful flowers, into a fire pit or something like that. It would be kind of cool. And then if you come this way, this is a great shed here. Great for storage. Um, and Shay will kind of pan up for you guys um, so you can see. You know, you got storage all along this wall. They have a bicycle, a zero turn riding mower, um, a real big snow blower, uh, all of her gardening tools, um, kids, uh, grandkids' toys. So, guys, there's a lot in here. Um, and that's just, it's almost like a spare garage. It's, it's a cute little shed. So this is the detached two-car garage, guys. This is great for any mechanic, anybody who has jet skis, cars, just like I said in the house. You gotta see this. So I don't trip. I wanna like back you in here. <laughs> and this vintage car is for sale. Um, so definitely, it's, it's a nice one. But this dead ends at the end of the alleyway. I'm gonna see if I can get that door open. Not quite sure if I can. Shake. So that alley comes straight into this garage. So, I mean, it's perfect, folks. So you can pull one into one side and one into the other. So, so this also this garage was something that they added. So it's also not on the assessor's card, folks. All right, we're gonna step out here real quick. Um, one of the things that I pointed out to Shay 
but I did not point it out to my audience was this fence. These are all brick columns. This goes all the way down as a dog fence. It was a run. The panels are still available now. At the end there, you can see she's got it as a greenhouse. Um, and they would be more than willing, I guess, to negotiate that because this setup's kind of pretty much for this house. But the other panels are there so you can continue this back into a dog run easily. So if you have a, have a couple of dogs that need a lot of space, you don't necessarily want them around the yard. Um, but this fence is very expensive fence, um, very sturdy, um, and it just really accents the house and complements it all. But please come see 701 Union Avenue, four bed, three full bath, a detached and attached garage, two car each. Um, it, it's just an amazing house. And again, the Cessor's car does not do it justice um, and, and doesn't take into account for the de detached garage and all the square footage that was added on in the addition. So thanks for taking another tour with Tammy. Until our next home, stay well, stay safe.